There's the burgundy buck. Mr. McCall, what do you got to do here for a full shoulder mount? Yeah, well, for a full shoulder mount, they want to leave half the hide on. Okay. Still, so they take it to the butcher because their butcher likes to have the hide on. But uh, unfortunately for the butcher, we're not letting it go with the hide on from here down. We like to take it from the brisket Hold right on, around. Let me get a shot of the brisket for they can see at home. <clears throat> For, so for your shoulder mount you need? Yeah, so it's, it's gonna be a little tough too because she's she's been out here a couple days and it's kind of frozen. So it's gonna take a little while to get uh, pulling on her. But we'll cut her right around, right around the back. You always wanna leave as much of the, the brisket as possible for the taxidermist to work with. And we'll come over here, then we'll come down into the armpit and we're gonna follow this hairline right here, right down the arms. We'll cut around here and this is how it's gonna peel around and down through the chest so we can get down around the neck and eventually pop the head off. Beauty. Cause I like popping heads off. All right, we're all gonna learn something here because hope, hopefully we're all getting one of these. Yeah. Let's get this done. So it's important too, oh, it's important too that you have a, 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 a pro proper knife. I like to use the uh, skinning knife. Okay. This is out of the out my outdoor edge set. It's got a nice rounded uh, blade on it. You don't wanna, you wanna not really pop through any of the hide anywhere. You wanna take your time. Okay. And, and don't feel bad about taking a lot of time to do this. Do it nice and slow, especially if it's a trophy, you owe it to the, to the animal, right? If you mess up that front brisket, because that's where like you're gonna see the buck, he can't stitch that up, that perfect cow lick. Yeah, you really wanna you really wanna take your time here. Perfect. For sure. And you also wanna have your sharpener, because you're gonna use it a lot. Okay, I'm gonna film it. Sean can get it down. We'll get the highlights for you. So you're going right around that. I'm going right around the whole animal. Yep. cutting through the hide first and brush the hair off because like a it, general outline as you guys can start to see yeah you have like an outline of where you're skinning yeah yeah that way because it's it's hair right you're cutting through all the hair this way you brush it all off and you don't get a lot of hair on the meat because butchers don't like hair on their meat oh. once you <laughs> once you get her peeled back in one spot you might be able to feel her a little bit more Yeah, now when you're getting all up and around the shoulder and into the armpit, you want to be real careful that you try not to puncture the uh, the cape too much or at all because uh, this is all what's going to be on the front side of your shoulder. Another important tip, Adam, you just did the measurements of the neck. Yes. Because he's got a big swollen neck from being rutted, so you want your mount to represent the animal as he was when he shot him. As best as possible. So you took three measurements right below the neck and then all the way down into the shoulders. How big was he? Uh, three measurements at 38. 32 and at the neck it was uh, 25 inches. That that deer is as big around at the neck as some people are at the pants. <laughs> That's true. That's a big deer. We're getting there. Good advice, don't mess up your mountain because a lot, you can't fix everything. That armpit, eh? Yeah, you gotta be careful up in the armpits, right? You just don't want to uh, poke through the cape anywhere. And you're pulling while you cut. Absolutely, yeah. And then you're using that round blade just to, to make it a little easier. It's not, uh, you're not like using the tip, right? Yep. You use the, the round, so I find it a lot easier to uh, take it off. And don't worry about leaving some of this stuff on. The, the taxidermist will flesh this all out. It, it, it is what it is, you know? So don't, don't, don't worry about getting it perfect like it is here. You know, this, this stuff you're happens. Okay to cut up like that, John? Yeah, yeah, you're okay as long as you don't cut through the hide. So we got the one shoulder released. Yeah, 
we don't really want to roll the hide in on itself. You want to kind of keep it out. But right? you naturally, when you're doing this, you're gonna. It seems easier. It seems easier to roll it in, but you, you don't really want to. You want to just kind of work it out. You're gonna to have to get your hands right down inside. Don't be afraid to get dirty. We got these mechanics rubber gloves that we wear all the time at Hunt Camp for just for this stuff. So you know, invest in a few pairs of these and uh, don't roll it up. Yeah, don't don't roll it up. Don't don't put salt on it or anything. Just leave it the way it is. Don't do anything to it. Put it in a bag. Throw it in the freezer if you can't get to your taxidermist. But like, don't salt it. Right? Let your taxidermist do whatever he's got to do to it. You just skin it out all nice and take it to him. Very nice. That's how she's done. Yeah, uh, now you'll see the nice armpit there to work with. That'll come around the bottom of the bottom of the yeah. shoulder. Yeah. Great. Awesome. awesome. Yeah, it's gonna. Sean, give good. us the, the quick like five steps you got to do. Five steps you got to do. First thing, make all your cuts. All the cuts go around the deer. Come around. Follow the armpit down. You want to go down that hairline. Okay. Brush off all the hair because it's going to make cleaning it a lot easier. You won't get as much hair on the meat. And then just slowly work down, pay real attention in around the armpits and stuff here because this is a real focal point yep. when you get the mount done, right? Try to leave as much as the hide as possible for the uh, taxidermist. They always appreciate that to work with. If you got a real big uh, full neck, full rut uh, buck, take a couple of measurements because there's different foam casts that, that the taxidermist get and he can order the proper foam cast. Um, and don't be afraid to spend the money on the, the better foam casts. They have a little more muscle structure in them. Um, obviously that the uh, taxidermist, he'll work with clay on top of the mold and a real good taxidermist will anyway and he'll he'll make it look, uh, look alive. Don't be afraid to spend the extra money on the real good eyes as well. And make that deer when it, it's looking at you like it's looking at you when it's on the wall and uh, other than that don't really worry about too much about little stuff like this little bits of flesh on the hide try to stay as close to the hide as possible but like don't don't worry too much about stuff like this um, the taxidermist he'll he'll flesh all that out when he's getting ready to tan and uh, other than that it's a beautiful buck Adam congratulations thank you thanks yeah, for it's help. gonna make a great shoulder yeah thank you awesome